fly sky high. Dive into the madness. It's time you come along with me. Because I'm all set to take you on a crazy ride. A new destination for a new week. In one of my favorite countries in the world, Switzerland. There are many ways of seeing a destination. One of the best? No, the best way is with Swiss Made Challenge. Swiss Made Challenge has come to an absolutely festive atmosphere of St. Garland. The whole city is red in color and the air is filled with joy. But will the contestants feel the same? We'll find out. Last five remaining challengers. They lived to see another day in Switzerland. Another train journey that will take them to another set of challenges. This time we follow the sun and head east to not one but two cantons, St. Garland and Appenzell. Good morning ladies and gentlemen, your tickets please. How to travel across Switzerland almost seems like a routine for our challengers now. And what are their thoughts with the taste of Swiss chocolates in their mouth? As always, the view is lovely, the mountains, the river, the blue sky, everything just makes you want to smile and laugh and forget all your fears. We're all like guessing what is going to happen today, where are we going to go, what's our next destination, how are we going to travel and these are the things that fascinate us the most because uh, they keep changing. St. Gallen and the moment we enter it's like a picture postcard it's beautiful it's a cute little town it's got the slanted roofs it's got uh, the mountains in the background the weather is amazing after having been to some of the biggest cities in Switzerland the eastern part of Switzerland becomes quite unique because Appenzell and St. Gallen are two places where you get to see preserved history and living traditions. Here are my top five must-dos when you're in the region. Every Indian traveler coming to Switzerland wants to take one souvenir home. All thanks to Bollywood. Does it ring a bell? Yes, it's the Swiss Cowbell. I don't think the cows who wear these bells, or the people who make the bells, or the farmers who take the cows out would have ever thought that the Swiss bells will become so popular in India, all thanks to Hindi movies. So if you want a bell for yourself, or a traditional belt, or even a dog collar, beautifully crafted, then Appenzell is the place to buy. And if you, like me, are into handmade goods, then this is the place to be. If old McDonald really ever had a farm, this is what it would look like. Is there even a doubt that this would make it to the top 5 must-dos when you're in Appenzell? I don't think so. Local residents like the chicks and bunnies would swear by Waldeg and travellers like them and me are charmed at the word go. It's not just a glimpse into the Swiss rural life, this farm makes me feel like I belong here. And for a curious mind, this place is the perfect playground. A UNESCO World Heritage Site, the Abbey of St. Gall is a Roman Catholic religious complex that dates back to 719 AD or the Middle Ages. It's also one of the most precious Baroque monuments in all of Switzerland. I could spend a whole day simply admiring the beautiful artwork, frescoes and sculptures that adorn its interiors. There are libraries and there are libraries. And then there is the Abbey Library of St. Gall, one of the richest medieval libraries in the world. Okay, St. Gall is one of the oldest libraries in the world. It's still existing. It goes back 
around 1,400 years till the seventh, early uh, seventh or eighth century. This is not just a place for collected stories or the smell of old books. This is a treasure trove, my friends. Enter the largest outdoor living room in Switzerland, the Public City Lounge, only at St. Garland's Stad Lounge. We are taken on a city tour by our guide here. She tells us so much about the history and there are so many stories about uh, St. Gallen and they're so interesting that I don't know how time is passing away. There's something about this place that wants me to know more because uh, you know as we're walking there's this really cool structure here, really cool structure there and sometimes you know you want to know what these things are about. Uh, right in front of us is the most talked about, the best thing about St. Gallen, the cathedral. There is something about this church which is very, very attractive. It's a huge cathedral. As soon as we enter it, it it's got paintings all over it. Like when you see on the roof the paintings people have drawn, you know, you cannot even believe that a painter can literally get up and draw so beautifully. She took us in one lane and uh, on our left was the fifth cafe which had five different faces. All the five faces had uh, historical significance. So the Pelican Cafe which we visited is uh, very interesting to look at because it has a balcony popping out with the different figures and then she showed us a really narrow street. Now we move to the modern part of the city called the living room and we see this car which is covered under a carpet and now from a distance it actually looks like a carpet which was actually a synthetic layer coating which was given over all the small living room sculptures which were made. go and plonk ourselves there. Before you know it, half of us are asleep, the other half is just daydreaming. Heard about painting the town red? Well, St. Garland has taken that quite literally and got the city lounge out in the streets. But this is Swiss made challenge and we are not here to just lounge about. Today's task is a surprise to see if the challengers have been paying attention to what they've been taught so far. This was the calm before the thunderstorm. This was like the Garden of Eden before the serpent struck. Morning! Hello! And this is like a very, very disturbing doing? alarm clock waking us up to reality. Come back, guys. This is Swiss Made Challenge. Uh, we have a task ahead for you, and it starts in five minutes. So then she's like that. Um you got a really beautiful tour of this city today and uh, now let's see how much you can recall. And that very second I was like, oh sh Did you enjoy your city tour? Yes. yes. The perfect afternoon to lounge about, right? Yes. But before you get to lounge about, we thought we'll find out how much attention you've been paying to your city tour. The task is very simple. The only thing was that it had started way before we knew. We placed flags in four iconic places. So the four places that you guys need to find. You know that feeling that you get on the last day of the exam, right before you're entering the, the, you get the question paper, it's like, man, I left that chapter and I'm sure that chapter is the one that's gonna come. The first place is somewhere around the Cathedral of St. Garland. Second is the Pelican Cafe. Third is Five Kopfer. And fourth is Schmitting Ghastly. Easy enough? Okay guys, your time starts now. 
उसका जा यहाँ से साथ में चलते हैं हम लोग साथ साथ में आगे जाके स्पेंट लगाएंगे कहते हैं उसे वॉक आराम से All four of them took a different route, and I decided to take a different route. And that's where I realized that was my first mistake. I had taken a slightly longer route and ended up just opposite the same place where I was. So I think I took a wrong route. I'm the kind of person who can lose her way in a circular room. So it should be an easy task for any any normal person, but for me it looked somewhat like this. It was like a maze. Yeah, I am very bad with roads. I'm pretty sure I'm lost now. Uh, and suddenly it strikes me. Okay, this is where I had seen the five faces. Right? This is the place with the five heads, and there they are, the five faces. And now all I have to do is find the plot. And I found my first one. Thank you. There we are. So I found the first place. This one. Oh my! There it is. There we go. And we found our first flag. Shmitin Gaslian is done. Uh, and uh, I think uh, finding the first flag was uh, pretty much uh, a kid's job. Hasha just goes uh, in front of me, and uh, you know, takes a turn to the left, and uh, there's a flag over there. And I see him collecting that flag. And uh, that moment, I don't know what place that was. I just saw him collecting the flag, and I ran after him and collected that flag. Now, I don't know where it is. Suddenly, I come out into the world, and I'm lost. One of the lampposts. I can't remember where exactly I saw things. <laughs> Panic mode starts up till I find that, and this I find my flag. I had two flags uh, in the first few minutes, uh, so I was really happy. Uh, and the next thing uh, i knew uh, was that i have to move towards cathedral five from far the parenting cafe according to me somewhere here i think i'm more educated than some of them i'm definitely smarter than some of them i haven't even showed 5% of my smartness okay i think i've come slightly wrong the same side and uh, i'm i'm really irritated i'm just uh, uh, praying to god that uh, somehow something happens and i find the narrow street oh god please help me please help me this is the cathedral somewhere near the cathedral so i take an entire round of the cathedral but i can't find the flag i've been to the side back at the same place But I don't think Sanya has it in her to win this. She's just been surviving till now. Five com fa is the only thing I'm worried about. Five com fa, five com fa. Oh my God, I'm so stupid. There it is. There we go. And I found my third flag. Now the only the last one. Five com fa. I am a little freaked out because. I am going round and round the cathedral, oh God, and I cannot you? find the flag. Cathedral. I have a feeling I have been here. I picked my fourth flag. I was going back, and Amita spotted me. Chalo, chalo, sir. Up, jaldi, chalo. Okay, what has Akash found? I think I just go after him. And Anamika got to know where the fourth flag was, so Anamika got to the place, took the fourth flag. Oh, frick! It's right here. I'm done. There are four flags. All I have to do now is go back to the city lounge, and that's another task for me because I'm lost again. I can't see anything. Five from far. Boom! Five that's where I realized that that could be the building with the five heads that we were shown. Each resembling one of the continents. Oh my God! I just realized what it could be. There we go. Hello, sir. Excuse me. Do you know where Swatse Glacier is? No idea. No. Okay, okay, okay. It's okay. It's okay. Now my only focus is uh, to uh, retrace my track. Uh, back uh, and uh, reach the red lounge area I think that they all must be ahead of me and they probably will finish before me Hi 
Hi, Neha. Hello. <sighs> Welcome back. Today's task was to mark your pole positions for the task that is to start. So, at number five, yes, Sanya. At number four is Anamika. At number three, Akash. Number two, Harshit. And Anirudh, you were the first one to get here. So, in the next task, you'll be the first one to start. Along with that, for coming first, he knows about things, but he wants other people to know that he knows about those things. You get a swatch, oh. <laughs> which is completely Swiss made, thank you, gifted thank by you so Switzerland much. Tourism. Thank you so much, thank you. Yeah, the games have begun, the bitchiness has started, and they've yeah. shown their true colors. So I'm still not going to change my strategy, I'm still going to continue the same way. The people who don't like this strategy, they can just go f*** themselves. Coming up on Swiss Made Challenge, your time starts now.